Hi, my name is Stephanie, and welcome to The Reader Chronicles. Hello everyone, I am back. Today I'm going to be doing the booktuber shoutouts tag created by Trina slash between chapters. I'm going to put her original video down below. Extremely grateful and super happy that she decided to tag me in her original video. It made me really, really, really freaking happy. So let's just first talk about the many, many times I have tried filming this. Uh, this is my fifth time doing this. That is a lot of times. You want to know why? Well, the first couple times I did this, it came out completely stupid. I had no answers prepared, and you could obviously see that, and my videos came out terrible. And I was definitely not going to put that out on the internet for everyone to see. And the next time I did it, something happened when I was editing. I deleted the videos prematurely because there was not enough space to import it. And because I did that, the edited version became corrupted. I don't know how I did that. I just, I, yeah, that made me really, really upset because I actually really, really liked that one. And then the last time I filmed this, my husband was in the room next door and you could hear him talking through the walls. It was terrible. It was super annoying. Even with the music, you could still hear wah, 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 wah. And if, yeah, no, I was not gonna put that up either. So now I'm redoing this once again. So I guess we're not at a complete loss. I can tell you what I've been up to. So Sunday, June 21st was my one year wedding anniversary with my husband. It was very nice. On Monday, we celebrated. We went to the Cheesecake Factory and it was really, really delicious. Tuesday, I picked up my sister and her two little munchkins and we went to Washington, D.C. with my husband and we went to the museum. That Wednesday, I dropped her back off and we went to McKinsey's bookstore. This bookstore is super huge. Like, it is freaking huge. And the prices are crazy, crazy cheap. I got a ton of books that I was not supposed to buy at all because I'm supposed to be on a book buying ban. And I broke it. I broke it hardcore, guys. This TJ Maxx bag is filled with books. It's absolutely filled. Yeah. It's, it's really bad. I'm going to make two book hauls. A lot of the books I got were Star Trek books. If you guys didn't know, I am really into Star Trek. Yeah, I am a Trekkie. That's right. But uh, yeah, uh, I've also been playing a lot of Little Big Planet 3 with my husband. That is the best game ever. I've also watched a ton of Netflix this month, which is also why I haven't been filming a lot. I watched the entire season of Sense8 of one day. I've also watched a crap ton of Disney movies. I started watching The Astronaut Wives, which I love. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. But yeah, let's just get right into the questions. First question is, who is the booktuber you discovered and what was their video? First booktuber I discovered was Book Drunken Love Book Talk and her video was her dystopian talk video. That was when I was at a bookstore and I was trying to find what dystopian books to read and I came across her video and she introduced me to the world of booktube. The second question is who is the most recent booktuber you subscribe to? The most recent booktuber I've subscribed to is the reader Rick Flieger. Uh, partly I subscribed to him because he has an awesome channel name and he's also extremely funny like I laughed in every single video I've watched of his so far he's really funny you should check him out and moving right along the third question is did any booktubers inspire you to create your channel and yes they did I'm gonna dedicate this to Red by Zoe and Peru's project I marathoned their videos when I got into booktube they definitely renewed my love for reading and they also made me realize that I had a voice that I wanted to get out to you guys. Number four, name a booktuber or booktubers that have been with you since the beginning of your channel. And I'm going to say says reads and nonfiction Nick. I created my channel in the beginning of April and I was on vacation in San Diego and Seattle and was unable to make any videos at the time and didn't get my first video out until the beginning of May. Well, they subscribed to me within the first couple of days of making the channel, which was really awesome because I didn't even have any videos whatsoever and it made me really, really excited to do my channel. Number five, name a booktuber you've followed since their beginning. And I'm gonna say Fred Weasley died laughing. I'm pretty sure I've followed her since the beginning of her channel. I think we started around the same time. She is super nice and super sweet and I just, I love watching her videos. I love watching them. I do. I really do. Number six, name a booktuber whose creativity you love. And for this I'm gonna say Chrissy Books and Berries. I think her first video I watched was her May wrap-up video. I really loved the intro. I thought it was really good so I immediately hit subscribe. And then I found out she was Filipino like me and I was like, oh yeah, double, double subscribe. Number seven, name a booktuber whose positivity you love. And the first one I'm about to say absolutely owns this title. She is just full of positivity. 
and this goes to Naya Reads and Smiles. This girl is always just super happy and energetic and fangirls over everything. Like she fangirls over everything, which is not a bad thing whatsoever. Number eight, name a booktuber whose honesty you admire. So the person I'm about to say, I actually found through Trina's original tag, and she is Shelf Life Extension. She is definitely open with her subscribers, and she is open about her life, and that is something that I really admire. I think it's really cool of her to show her more personal side, as well as her booktuber side, and yeah, I just, I really admire it. Number nine, name a booktuber who always makes you laugh. And this is going to go to Read Like Wildfire. Every video I watch of hers, I laugh. It's just a given. I found her when I was trying to find tags to do, and I found her totally didn't tag, and I immediately hit subscribe. She, she's just, she is all around a funny person. Number 10, name a super friendly booktuber. So two super friendly booktubers that I wanna give a shout out to are Fran the Pages and Sandra Alves. These two are really, really sweet people. I always see them commenting on other booktubers channels as well. They definitely made me feel welcome to booktube and I just wanna give a big shout out and thank you to you guys. Just thank you, thank you for for bringing kindness into the booktube community. Number 11, name a booktuber who always makes you add books to your TBR. And for this, I'm gonna say Sophie series and the book vagrant, mostly because I really just wanted to incorporate them into this tag. I'm gonna say Sophie because I always watch her wrap-ups and her hauls and the books she's excited for. And I picked up a lot of books because of her. I picked up A Corn Thrones and Roses and in the result, The Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. I picked up The Wrap of the Dawn. I picked up other fantasy books. I'm also going to say the book favorite. She created a Harry Potter read-along for the summer. It's for people who want to reread Harry Potter or want to read Harry Potter for the first time, aka me. Let's just slide that in there. So yeah, if you guys are interested, I'm going to put her video down below describing the details of the read-along. Number 12, name a booktuber who has a similar taste in books as you do. So because I have such a wide range of books, I'm just going to say everyone. So if you don't get a shout out in this video, this is your time to shine. This is your time. To shine. Number 13, name a booktuber who has a different taste in books as you do, but you still love their channel. And I'm going to say Book Reading Jill and A Bibliophile's Journey. I've been following a Book Reading Jill ever since she first started her channel as well. She reads a lot of contemporary romance, and I don't read contemporary at all, actually. I just, I can't get into contemporary. Maybe the summer will change that. I feel like summer is like the perfect time to read contemporary, so maybe that will change. I'm also going to say Bibliophile's Journey. She is an insane horror buff. I like reading horror too but she loves it. Like, she lives her life in horror, whereas I kind of just dip my toes into the world of horror. Number 14, name a booktuber who impresses you with the amount of books they read. And for this, I'm gonna say Leslie's Book Obsession. She reads a lot of books, but I'm more impressed with the amount of books that she buys. And the last question is, give a shout out to a booktuber who has less than 500 subscribers, one who has more than 10,000 subscribers, and one who has somewhere in between. For a booktuber who has less than 500 subscribers, I'm gonna say the Bookie Wookie. I absolutely love this girl. I think she's awesome. She definitely does not have a lot of subscribers, which makes me sad because I think she deserves way more than what she has. You should definitely check her out. For one that has more than 10,000 subscribers, I'm gonna say the little book owl. Her video on how to start a booktube channel really, really helped me when I was creating my own channel. And she also has really good quality videos and you should definitely check her out. And for a booktuber who has somewhere in the middle, I'm gonna say Victoria. Shaz. I think that she is a very intelligent booktuber. I really respect her recommendations and they really are an influence to what I buy. She also has really good videos and you should check her out. Honestly, every single person that I have mentioned in this video, you need to check out. I have mentioned them all for a reason, obviously. I think they're all really amazing people. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you later.